practice of this ritual of ascension. Sacrifice must take place. In a... Bring the children. Yes, Lucifer. Do not be afraid. This is not the end, but merely. I don't know if you can see what he's doing with the paper through the camera. It's going to look like he's schizophrenic. Sam, are you dead? Walker, it's your turn. Video bath. Are you embarrassed? that sweet make her arthritis hurt <laughs> well I've got some Gina made some bread yesterday I make toast you don't want to eat sweet
lots of views.
However, it limits their right to... Walmart for an eight and a half or an eight by ten, it's like three dollars. If you have one eight by ten, you can before the twentieth, you can do it by free at Walgreens. Yeah, I saw, but we won't have our kids in front of the screen looking for their um, one eight by ten before the twentieth. See, that's the one I was working on that I was asking Diane about. I might could get that one done because I want to send that one over to Iraq. Yeah. For color, yeah. I mean, for for me, just one, it's it's not a big deal. But if I was having a lot done, it would be. Oh. Oh. I'll print some on my Epson. I'll run my Epson out, print them off, and nice little bit more. Use the photo paper, so I can do that. I wonder if it's the cord. And then if we do half and half, they won't care. Do I have different cords, Scott? Do I have one of those? Let me look and see if I want to. What kind of cord do you need? I have RCA. tons at school. They're at school, I'll bet though. they're around. I bet we have some around here somewhere. Because <clears throat> if you need a new one, I can't get it for you today, but... <laughs> You're not going back. I'm not going back. I'm not, I'm not going to... You know... I'm not going to run that risk again. I wonder. Maybe I could... Well, but the sound didn't come out at all. Where'd you say, Susan? Like in the cabinet? Yeah, like in the middle part, okay. portion of the cabinet right here. I tried to put all the additional wiring all together. <clears throat> trying to get these pages done for my mother-in-law. 
There you go. I was thinking about just doing like, since they're so expensive, just doing a four by six photo, you know, album. And well, I did a book her first year, and it fit all in one book. And I'm like, score! I'm it was like 29 pages or something. Is that what? I don't know. I just mm -hmm. put how many pages I could ever put in there. Mm -hmm. so I was like, okay, you know, with one year, one book. He was like, oh no, we need to continue doing it. Oh no. Oh, <laughs> jerk. Um, did you do it with uh, Snapfish or? No, I mean, I do a page at a time. Oh. It's a regular just eight by eight book that I just, oh, whenever when you I stuff print. it in when yeah. you, yeah. Yeah. I'm so far behind. I'll never get caught up. I never will. I've already resigned myself to that fact. I had to ask how to group the picture so it fits in a in a box today, so I know I'll never get caught up. Does. Yeah. It is the. Is it the cord? Well, I. No, I mean, it's the bad the video. One. I mean, I haven't seen it be the cord a lot, but sometimes I have. It may be that camera, too. Because my wife, they have a high camera at school, but theirs actually, it didn't have these RCA outputs. It actually had a more recent. Thing. No, I haven't even tried with mine. What I may end up doing, because I can connect to your VCR. To, well, to my uh, DVD. My no, my other uh, my other video camera that we have, and then connect a, and then and get it. Mm -hmm. Vital Link, 1999, at the Green Oaks Parks Hotel. There were students that worked here for one week from Meadowbrook Middle School and Wedgwood Middle School. Let's take a walk inside and see what Vital Link is all about. Here's Cassidy, <laughs> learning how to use computer skills. Here's Keith, working with the Human Resources Department today. Don't really know what he's learning. He's standing there looking kind of like he's lost. Here's Nathan returning from a tour of the city. Nathan. So where'd you go, Nathan? And what does that mean? Visitors and what? Hey, Nikki. Yeah, this is Pete. What did you do down there? We took a little packet. So. Okay. So, so okay, that people that come down to Fort Worth know about can the, can you hold on and let me double check on the, the hotel. Yeah. Alright. Alright, hold up. That's it. Mm -hmm.
So what else have you been doing? Not much. Okay. Use the arrow. Key. The arrow key right there. It's Mormon. Move it down to where it says nine. No, not really. We haven't even been beginning. You went too far. Well, there you go. You should type in my name. Last name first. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And I press the enter key. And there it brought me up. That's who I am. Put a one in front of that. Press the enter key. And there you can see all you wanted to know about me. All his hidden secrets. <laughs> see my phone number, my address, my date of birth. I've got a birthday on that issue on the <laughs> And when I started here, my social security number. So if somebody called me and wanted to verify that I worked here, say I didn't work in this department, they would pull, whoever worked here would pull that information up and say, yeah, he works here. Okay? Say my boss wanted to get in touch with me. Mm -hmm. He didn't have my phone number. Then he would call yeah. me and I would look at my phone number up and I'd give it to him. So he would call me at home. Did you see if you're in there? Poblana cheese. Yeah, Keith's going to go back to school next year and want to take typing, keyboarding on the computer. <laughs> Here's Cassidy working at the front desk. Let's see how her problem solving skills are. Excuse me, miss, but I lost the keys to my room and I don't really know what I'm supposed to do about it. Um, like what, my driver's license or something like that? So my driver's license would be okay? Okay. Okay, here's my driver's license. Be happy to have a new key made for you. Okay, we'll be happy to have a new key made for you. Okay, but how long will that take? Yep, two minutes. Oh, great. Thanks. What do you think, Keith? Would you prefer to work in the kitchen or in an office? Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter? carrots, not too bad, huh? You're doing a good job. Here's Nathan. He's working with housekeeping today. So Nathan, what do you do in housekeeping? Now, why do you do that with the TV? Oh. So, what happens if the room's not clean or something's not right in the room? So you think you'd ever want to do a job like this? 
kind of. <laughs> Thank you, Nathan. This one time. Hi, my name is Nathan, and I've been working in BioLink for a week, and I just want to thank the people who worked with me um, to teach me how important it is to communicate with others and be friendly, and that's it. Hi, my name is Kesty Jordan, and I've been working at Green Oaks Hotel now for a week with BioLink, and I've had a lot of fun experiencing and working with the people here and um, I just want to thank you for having us here to show us what you do for your job. Thanks.
altos. No.
This is Elvis, the rock saving dog. He single handedly is rescuing all the drowning rocks of the river. Got him one. And he'll take it up to the shore. He'll leave it. There, another rock saved from being drowned. It's back in action. Another rock rescued.
And up the hill goes the mighty wood gatherer. Taking the wood up the hill to cook the evening meal. This is the river after a hard rain and it's washed down. It's very high and very muddy. Right in here you can usually see rocks sticking up out of the water. Really very clear, so muddy today.
middle school seventh and eighth grade mixed choir ready to perform for you forever do up <laughs>
talking. And she's talking even more. Oh, there's someone singing.
sixth grade mixed choir at Len Leonard Middle School and Leonard I have a few <laughs> Leonard <laughs> Chris and I have a few questions that I would like to ask you I was just curious what was your favorite thing about choir this year um, that we went places and went to contests okay and who do you think was the best musician that you worked with in choir this year Okay, and why do you think he's the best musician you worked with? Because he can sing really well. Okay, good. All right, was there anybody that really annoyed you in choir this year? Raymond. Raymond, oh, let's see, let's get a shot of Raymond over here. Raymond, uh -huh. and let's see, Raymond's shirt is untucked there, so he needs to tuck it in rather than fold it under. 
Hmm, maybe we can show this to Miss Spooner as evidence. Okay. Now then, Kristen, back to you. Um, what would you tell these people that annoyed you that they should be doing if you had the opportunity to? What do you mean? What would you say to them about being annoyed and what they do to you? Tell them to shut up. Oh, okay. That sounds pretty good. All right, thank you, Kristen, for being with us today. Come back and see us sometime, okay? Okay. Hi, this is Annie, and she is in our sixth grade choir as well, and we thought we would talk to her today a little bit. Let's see, you have a twin sister, don't you? No. No? You don't have a twin? I have a sister. But she's not a twin? Yeah, she is. Oh, okay. Uh, is she smarter than you, or are you smarter than her? She's meaner than me, though. Oh, she's meaner than you. So when I show this to her, she's going to get mad at you. Well, she'll try to beat me up. I see. You know, it's not very ladylike to bite your fingernails. No. Oh, thank you. Um, so, what would you say to your sister if she were going to see this? Oh. Hi. Hi. Oh, okay. But, um, uh, really? Mm -hmm. I tell her she better not have in my room last night. Ah. So, you, you don't share a room? Uh, no. We used to, and it, it didn't work very well because we fight over clothes and stuff. I see. Uh, so, your sister, you know, she used to be in choir, too. Uh, are you a better musician than she is? No? You think she sings better than you? Um, well, she kind of, she does this thing where her mouth is like, and it's weird. Yeah. <laughs> but she can sing, it's just, she needs a little bit more practice. I see. So, now, what, I can't sing with what, nothing. what does her mouth do? <laughs> Could you show me again? No. Um, I can't explain it. It's the way she sure. sings, it's like... No. <laughs> I see. He's so, like how many brothers and sisters do you have? I have one older sister, she's 17, and Bailey, my twin. I see. So there's just three of you. Okay. All right. Well, thank you for being with us today. All right. This is Marcus, and he's here with us today, and... Marcus is also a member of our sixth grade choir. And Marcus, if you could say anything to all of your fans out there, what would you tell them? Back up, please. Back up, please. Okay. And uh, so, do you like having all these fans? Is it exciting for you? You know it. Oh, cool. Um, who's your favorite fan that you have? What do you mean? Your favorite one. Favorite fan. Uh. No, I go for probably Wayne. Wayne, okay. Do you have a fan club? No. No? Do you hope to have a fan club someday? Yeah. Oh, okay. And what do you want to do when you get older? Uh, do you want to perform on stage or anything? Yeah. What would you would you want to be in film or theater or music or what? Music. Oh, okay. What kind of music you want to do? Uh, rap, country western, what? Maybe, maybe a little. No, no. Or some country western rap, maybe? Like slow jam, you know. Slow jam. Well, can you give us an example? <laughs> can you sing a bar for us? Marcus, we love you! Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, that's my fan. Oh, well, let's get a shot of the fan club over here. Hey! Hey! Marcus. Oh, we love Marcus! Woo! Can't get it All right, okay. That's... All right, and, uh, Let's see now. Uh, can you sing a bar for us? Uh, I don't think I want to do that. No? Oh, come on. Uh, uh, sing a little Al Green for us. Al Green? How about some? All right. No, the lunch. Light a candle. All right. Thank you for being with us today, Marcus. Hey, que pasa, mi amigo? Nada. Okay, what'd you have for lunch today? Pizza? Is, is that it on your shirt there? Here, let me zoom in there. Oh, no, that says Colum... something. Columbus. Columbus Realty Trust. Oh, okay. All right, so how's it going this year? You ready for school to be out? Yeah? What are you going to do this summer? No, I'm coming to school. 
Yeah. You're going to school? Yeah. Oh, hang on just a minute. Hey, you people over here, you're you're cutting in on our interview, so let's be quiet, okay? <laughs> okay, so sit down and be quiet, please, and don't be me messing with people. Okay, now then, back to your interview here. Uh, what are you, you're going to go to summer school. Bummer. Bummer. Hate to have to do that. You can do it. <laughs> but I guess it's better than having to do the sixth grade over, right? Yeah, well, that's good. So, are you going to get to take a vacation this summer? Where to? Uh, I don't know, maybe Houston. Ooh, Houston. Sounds good. You going to party while you're there? Yeah? Cool. Well, thank you for being with us today, okay? Okay. Come back and see us sometime? Okay. All right, bye-bye. Action. All right, this is Raymond Guerrero. Yeah, what's that, what's and uh, this is our class clown. Yeah. He likes to act out and get everybody's attention, and he feels like he is a real ladies' man. Let's no, zoom in I like on. To brag, but you know. Let's zoom in on his face I here. I give a shout out to my homeboy Marcus. Yeah, homies for Marcus, life. My little Marcus. Um, Machines. Oh, okay. I see. Well, I was just going to see about your opinion on the uh, cafeteria. Oh, it tastes like um, rubber. Rubber? Oh. Um, can I ask you another question? Yeah. Uh, how do you know what rubber tastes like? Because one time I was, I was fixing my bike and my tire came in front of my mouth and I just started working. Oh, I see. So you're a tire muncher? Yes. Oh, okay. Do you have any brothers or sisters? Yeah, I have um, a stepbrother. What's up, man? And I got um, my little sister. She's like a little pain in the butt. She got oh, how old is she? She's like, um, I'll get back to you on that one. Okay. <laughs> All right. Okay. Well, thank you for joining us today, and I hope you'll see this soon on live TV. Maybe you'll be on the Jay Leno show one of these days. <laughs>